son, I'm 14. I ain't gotta go get him shit. He be like, Pops, oh girl, suck my dick. Well, you fucking not, nigga. <laughs> whoa, 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 Boosie Boosie. You congratulating your son that he got some slob on his knob. I'm not really surprised Boosie said that, but I have a daughter and I wouldn't dare congratulate her on getting fellatio. Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV, where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today, I'm about to give you a review of Boosie Badass's brand new album, Boopock. Don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews and more reactions. Hit a like, thumbs up, hit that notification bell to be notified for more videos. And in the comment section below, tell me what is your favorite Boosie Badass project, song, or whatever, or whatnot, or whatever he he does, put that in the comment section below and let me know. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see what this new Tupac is all about. I mean, Boopac. Boosie has finally released his long-anticipated album, Boopac, that I've been waiting for almost over a year. And he recently did an interview on Everyday Struggle and and Breakfast Club and whatnot, saying that he doesn't think that he's trying to replace Tupac. He just think he is this generation's new Tupac. And, and somewhat his fans pushed him towards to put this name on this album. And that's how he was feeling. In some sense, he's kind of right because people in the South do look at Boosie as far as a motivator, as far as street life. But that's kind of a big, high plateau you have to put yourself on, and your album gotta be a certain type of level if you're gonna cons consider yourself to be the new Tupac. And after listening to Boopac, uh, I don't know, Boosie, I don't know. But let's go ahead and get into the cover. The cover is him standing there, black and white, you know, looking all mean, all thuggish or whatnot. I mean, the cover's pretty decent. I mean, you know, you don't have to put too much effort into your cover into being something you call your album called Boopac. I'm just glad he's not copying Tupac cover or anything like that because that would be really corny, you know. But going into Boopac, the thing I like about Boopac is that you can't go wrong with Boosie and his content. His content is extremely deep. He's going to talk about issues that hits home like right here in street life. And he don't really candy coat anything. Like for example, track four, Webby I Remember is a heartfelt song toward his long friend Webby that he's been with for many years. And I will say that Webby and Boosie is in my top five best duo rap artists of all time because I grew up when they first came out on their music. And you know, this song was really okay it was pretty decent but i respect the message he said and wrote on this song to webby and track seven i hope you make it is basically a song where it's basically motivating people hoping they make it through their day and whatever situation they in and just he just he just hope you make it and track eight me and mama is a heartfelt song towards his mama on how he feel and telling her he's sorry for what he put her through and whatnot and he even said that he even compared himself on how he felt how he know how kanye west feels losing his mom even though he still has his mom this is this is like his dear mama song on boo Pac. but this song was really deep on track 15 you don't know me like that is that it's a basically the song is basically talking about you really don't know how he is what he's going through or whatnot and it's another one of these deep songs he also addresses his issues he has with gays and the whole money phone thing with jay-z that people misconstrue what he says and whatnot and it's really not him he's just a, a normal guy that he puts his uh, opinions out there without any bias. But that's the only thing I really like about Boopot is the deep content. Boosie has always 
put out deep content in his music. But out of all his discography, this album has the most content to where he put out there as far as deep. You know, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. But coming off of that, my favorite track is number five, Cocaine Fever. This song is a real rare song because a lot of rap artists don't touch on the dealer, the user, and the people around all those aspects on how cocaine affect their lives. And I salute Boosie for making a song like this because a lot of rap artists nowadays is either talking about them being a dealer or them being the user or whatnot. And Boosie put all of those in one song and you gotta give mad respect to this song. But all albums is not perfect. You know, Boo Pop production really could be up there. Even though he has a lot of heartfelt and deep content on this album. It's like this album is like an hour and 30 something minutes long. And you know, the, the production could have been stepped up. I mean, it has a lot of like average beats. I mean, the beats really didn't catch me as well, but I can see anybody from the Louisiana area or the Southern area to where they will really like the production on this. But as far as the mainstream audience, they gonna be like, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I mean, it's not one song on here I really can say can go really mainstream. But he said that in an interview that he's not going for the big fame or whatever, whatnot. His music is more of of a dynamic to where it supposed to reach people hearts and and meaningful. And I can see really see why he would go the route is calling this album Boo Pop. But my least favorite song is track one. Dun Dada featuring B. Will and Lee Banks. When I first cut this album on, I really didn't think, I thought I was listening to a whole different album. This song right here just completely doesn't feel feel like it fits in the whole uh, uh, track list of Boo Pop. It just, and then it's just like basically these guys on here saying they're bosses, they do boss things. And this song sound like it came straight out of the West Coast. Boosie, do not need to rap on anything that sound like a West Coast beat, bruh. Just stop it. You're better than that. But let me go ahead and rate Boo Pock by Boosie Badass. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. You know, it's not nothing really special about this album. It's not no replay value on this album, but I can see what Boosie was trying to do as far as making deep content and trying to reach his core audience that actually like his heartfelt music. But it is not really no bangers on here. It's not really anything for repeat value. And I can respect for what Boosie did but it's not an amazing project. It's just an average Boosie project. So I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. But the most important question is, what do you think of Boosie Badass's Boo Pop? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think he's a new Tupac? Do you think this is one of his best albums Ever. Do you think I'm wrong with my opinion? Leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you're an independent artist and you want me to review your project, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter at Black Music, B L A C M U Z I C. And until next time, I holla next time on Black TV.